Hi, I am going to walk you through how to save your reader spreads into printer spreads in the instance that you were printing a saddle stitch booklet. So I've got this pineapple book that I've created. You can see that my pages are set to read page one, two, three. Um, if I'm just saving these as spreads, they're going to break all of my my back images. I'm going to walk you through this really quick. I do have guides with all of this information in a PDF copy that you could download off of our Blackboard site or if you want to pick up one that's already printed you're welcome to grab one in the IC. Um, so basically you're just going to have your document open. You are going to first step create a postscript file using InDesign. So you're going to go to file print booklet and it's going to pop up here. Um, you are going to, from the setup, just make sure that it says postscript file and that you're doing all of your pages. Um, you are going to go into your print settings right here and just confirm that your printer is postscript file. If, let's say I have the Canon printers in the IC here, you want to make sure that that is off and that your PPD is set to device independent. Um, basically, you're going to go through and you're going to select and make sure that your printer marks are selected on. Crop marks on. You don't need bleed marks necessarily, but if you do, you want to make sure that you are um, accounting for that size. I always leave my bleed document bleed settings on. And then you're going to select OK. It'll take us back to this print booklet dialog. Um, you are then going to make sure that the booklet type is two up. I think I already said that. I always leave all these defaults on so automatically adjust and then I'm gonna print the blank printer spreads if you have any. Um, if you go to preview, you should see um, an image where your last page and your first page are right next to each other. That means when you open up the book, like a magazine, um, the front page, the cover, and then the back page is the back cover. You are gonna select print here and it's gonna open up this dialog box. We're just gonna use the file name test file and we're just gonna save it to our desktop for now. It's gonna go through and flatten all these pages which depending on how many images you have could take a long time. Um, I'm also going to show you really quick because you have to know your exact image size in order to set your PDF settings correctly in Distiller. So I'm going to just quickly export this as um, something just export test just so you can see. Um, I want to make sure that spreads is selected. This is just so you can see what it looks like with your crop marks and your bleed marks because you're going to have to make note of that image size because you're going to need that in the next step. So I think that I have mine yep, automatically set to open up a new file. So here you go. Obviously you can see that the first page is incorrect and this is what happens in the imaging center we see a lot of people turn in files and they think it's going to print as a saddle stitch book but this is technically reader spreads so you hover your mouse in the bottom left hand corner and that's going to get you your image size so write that down remember it all right kind of going back we're going to close all tabs we're going back we're going to open and find acrobat distiller this is free with the adobe creative suite um, so i'm just going to go into my applications it's nestled into the um, Acrobat DC, so you are going to just double click and it opens up. It takes a second. The default settings for all PDFs are here. So you can pick whatever one you normally use. For this example, you're gonna use high quality print. Um, I tend to save all of my PDF as PDFX4 or PDFX1A, but I'm gonna select high quality print and you're gonna create an updated setting. So you'll go to the settings menu at the top and then you'll do edit Adobe PDF setting. Here you wanna make sure it's in inches. Um, basically I'm using the high quality print like I told you. You have to type in those numbers of your entire spread with the bleed marks, the crop marks, however you decide to save it. That needs to be exact. You're gonna actually select save as and what I do is I just kind of do like high quality print whatever um, the PDF original one is and then I just write what it is 17.58 by 11.58 so that I can quickly grab that next time I need it. So now you're going to select your setting that you just created. Um, next step is you can just drag and drop. You can also I think upload it um, the long way but we're just going to use that test file PS. Confirm security. It's going to do its thing. Depending on how much you have on there, it can take a few minutes, but my file's ready. I'm gonna double click it, and here you go. I've got a file that's printed in the center. It's ready to go for print. Um, it looks a little wonky on the screen, but once it prints out, it'll print out like a magazine in the correct order. If you have any questions, schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I would love to talk you through this. 
Um, but I hope you have a great day. Happy printing. Thank you for watching.